Hey, welcome to another edition of Two Tip Tuesday. Just want to let you know before we get started, hang out until the end. Watch to the very end for a money-making opportunity. You'll be glad you hung in there. Thanks. Here we go. Hey, so welcome to Two Tip Tuesdays. It's been a while. We're back. Happy New Year. Hey, so I want to play a little game with you. And in my family, we play this game called Kings. It's a card game. And I'm sure many of you have heard of it, but if you've never heard of it, it deals with, it, it, it's a, a deck of cards, and you deal the cards to everybody around the table, and each card has a certain um, rule, so to speak, or something that you need to do when you choose that card. Anyway, I'm not going to get into the details, because that's what that this was about, but if you happen to choose the Jack, the Jack is what we call Never Have I Ever and that requires everybody that's playing the game to hold up three fingers and the person who drew the jack gets to ask the question never have i ever so play along with me just bear with me here there is a point i'll make this full circle never have i ever so hold up three fingers and let's play along because i want to ask you have you ever ran out of salt never have i ever ran out of salt marine salt for your lobster tank if you have Put a finger down. If you never have, leave a finger up. Okay, so you get the idea. All right. Never have I ever ran out of salt. Okay, and the people that are watching, never have I ever was taught how to make salt water. Put your finger down if you've never been taught. If you have, leave your finger up. And never have I ever used three hydrometers to check my salt level. If you have been taught, leave your fingers up. If you've never been taught how to check your hydrometers or use three of them to check your salt level, put a finger down. For those of you that don't know, this is a hydrometer and we sell them um, in bulk. You know, you can get it through either your local paper distributor or you call us and we'll ship them to your store. But hydrometers check the salinity and any of you who are home brewers will understand what a hydrometer is because these are used to check specific gravity. Um, at the top of the hydrometer is a green shaded area, so we make it easy for you. And I'll try to hold it up to the camera so you can see it. You see that green shaded area up here? That's going to let you, that's your indicator as to uh, your salt level is correct. Salt makes these things float, okay? Now, one of the never have I ever things that I asked you was never have I ever used three. So here is a test hydrometer, and we have three hydrometers in there. They float. Salt makes them float. So if you have too much salt in your water, these are going to float high. If you don't have enough salt, they're going to sink to the bottom. And the ideal spot between 1.02 and 1.025 for salt water is right at that green shaded area. So you see where the water is floating right at that green shaded area at the tip of the hydrometer? That's how you know your salt level is perfect. And so we always suggest that you use three of them because if one is faulty, the other two are going to prove it wrong. Um, and you never want to rely on just one, especially when it comes to checking the salt water of your lobster tank because high salt could kill them and low salt could kill them. Um, so, and the other thing I wanted to tell you for two tips was how to make marine salt. Were you ever taught that um, if you have to make marine salt to add to your tank, then you add one pound of salt to four gallons of water. And how do you check the four gallons? Well, I have a bucket here. One of these buckets, it's a regular, you know, I call them Homer buckets. You can buy them at Home Depot. Um, but in that bucket will fit five gallons right to the very rim. Five gallons of water will fit right up to the very top, but nobody's going to be able to fill this right to the top. So right down to the bottom here, to the first level, the first um, ledge or lip, or some buckets have a little rim around it, you know, right up to about here will be four gallons. Um, if you add one pound of salt to that four gallons of water and you stir it aggressively, that should be a good mix for salt water. But never, ever, ever Put that water into your tank without checking it with a hydrometer first. Check it with three hydrometers. And you should have some type of a test tube here that you could float your hydrometers in. Because if you just put these hydrometers in your tank, the current of the water is going to make it, it's going to make it want to bounce up and down. It's going to spin all over. And you're not really going to be able to get an accurate reading. So get yourself one of these, um, we call them hydrometer test cylinders. We sell these as well. You can give us a call. Um, 
but always use three and this way the water is still and you can get an accurate reading from your hydrometers. So if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call, 201-398-0303. But just remember that, those three, never have I ever ran out of salt. If you run out of salt, you cannot use iodized salt off the shelf or kosher salt. The only option you have in an emergency is to run to the pet store and get some marine salt. You're probably going to end up paying two or three times your regular price. But if you need it in a pinch, if it's a weekend or if it, you, there's no way that you can get it overnight into you, then go to like Petco, PetSafe, Walmart sells it sometimes, I think, at marine salt. Um, but it's three times the price. Otherwise, give us a call and we'll guide you in the right direction on how to get it. But do not, please, do not use salt off of the shelf because it's, it doesn't have the minerals that will mimic ocean water. So there are your three rules. Never use salt off the shelf. Always use marine salt. Um, always use three hydrometers. Three. Three hydrometers at all time because if one is faulty, the other two will prove it wrong. And you always want to use one pound of salt to four gallons of water. That's kind of the general rule, but always check it with the hydrometers. Have a great day, everybody. So tip number two is coming to you from the very frigid single digit New Jersey. The only state in the union, by the way, that has two words in its name, but most people will call it by one. So we're coming to you from Jersey. Tip number two is a did you know? Did you know that if you have an idea for us for two tip Tuesdays or for a blog, submit it and we will give you a $25 uh, gift card uh, just for your idea. And if we use it and post it, and if that post gets more than 100 likes, we'll give you a $100 gift card. So be sure to be, uh, you know, interact with us and, and give us your ideas. If there's something that you'd like to learn, something you want us to post about, let us know. And uh, we'll give you that $25 gift card. If it gets posted and we get 100 likes and even shares, we'll give you a $100 gift card. Thanks for watching and interacting and keep warm, everybody.